Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. Today video is all about Pekingese. Before we go on, don't forget to like and share if you really enjoy our content. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when we post more dog-related content. History. The Pekingese is a breed of toy dog, originating in China and its name refers to the city of Peking, Beijing. It was kept as a palace dog by members of Chinese imperial court and introduced to the West by English forces that looted the imperial palace at Beijing in 1860 during the Second Opium War, presenting it to Queen Victoria. She named him, Lu Ti, because of how the dog were acquired. The Pekingese has been known, to both West and East as the, Lion Dog, because they looked like the ancient guard lions of China and have been kept in China at the time of the Shu Dynasty 2000 years ago. It has been responsible for designer crossbreeds, such as Peekapoo crossed with a poodle. A Pekingese, named Rascal was first to be registered by AKC in 1906 and three years later Pekingese Club of America founded. According to American Kennel Club registration statistics, the Pekingese got 95th rank. A Pekingese named Sun Yat-sen was one of only two dogs to survive the sinking of the Titanic in 1912. If you are thinking about bringing a dog into your home, then here are some of the pros and cons to consider with this breed. List of the pros of a Pekingese. Pekingese dogs are very loyal, affectionate and lovable pet for families of any size. Very easy to train. Commonly health dogs. Good apartment friendly dogs. Perfect example for very low drooling tendency. Adapts very well to all lifestyle changes and basically all living environments. Affectionate towards cats. Good for first time owner, due to their easy going personality. Small and easy to carry, which is another advantage. List of the cons of a Pekingese. Vulnerable and sensitive physical features. They should be handled very carefully around young children. They are best suited to homes with teen and adults. Obedience intelligence is very low. Don't do well with allergy sufferers by causing allergic reaction. These dog requires high level of grooming and maintenance. Little chance of bad smell due to their coats. They are not kid-friendly dog. Not suitable dog breed for the office environment. Breathing problem is also common in Pekingese. Abundant coat can easily pick dirt during walks. Like pugs, Pekingese tend to snore very loudly because of their short nose. Pekingese tend to bark a lot. Tendency to weight gain if overfeed. Stubborn streak and can be difficult to train. They won't respond very well to harsh training methods and reward them any time they do something correctly. Strong prey drive and shouldn't live with small animals. Temperament. Affectionate, loyal, stubborn, aggressive and regal. Price. A Pekingese puppy is likely to cost between $800 to $3,745 with the average price being $1,800. On average, a puppy can cost anywhere from $500 to $750, but AKC Champion Bloodline will be $1,000 to $2,500 price. If the dog has to be shipped outside the United States, shipping fee will apply depends on the airline and how far the dog has travel, the cost can be between $350 to $500. The common factor for their price depends on the quality of dog, geographical location of the breeder and age of the dog. The average dog owner should be prepared to spend $700 to $1,000 for obedience classes, dog food, shelters, toys and vet visits. The average litter size is 2 to 4 puppies. Appearance. Flat face, furry mane, like a lion, large eyes, floppy ears, muscular and durable body. The head is massive and broad with flat face, black nose and lips, dark eyes and ears are shaped like hearts. Coat length is long, density is high, and texture is straight. The average height of the dog is 6 to 9 inches, 15 to 23 centimeters, at the withers. The average weight of the dog is 7 to 14 pounds, 3.2 to 6.4 kilograms. Small Pekingese are commonly referred to as, sleeve, Pekingese or just, sleeves. A Pekingese over 15 pounds might be disqualified in show rings. The known color are gold, red or sable, cream, black, white, tan, black, fawn and occasionally blue or slate gray. Grooming. The Pekingese is a high maintenance breed because they need to be brushed thoroughly on a daily basis to remove loose hair, prevent tangles and matting and keep his coat shiny and sleek. Shedding level. Pekingese shed lot and you are likely to find hair and fur all over your house, clothes and furnishings. Brush their teeth daily to avoid dental problems. 
Trim their nails every few weeks and you should only give your Pekingese a full-on bath about once every three months. Don't vigorously dry with towel. Everyday brushing of the dog coat is necessary to reduce shedding. Affection level. Pekingese are very loyal, soft, gentle, loving and affectionate dog towards their master. They don't need much space, as their favorite place to be is right on their owner's lap. Sensitivity level. Pekingese are less sensitive compared to other dogs breed. They never mind an always changing daily routine such as hectic household, frequent guest visit, noisy or office environment and young children. Barking. The Pekingese is a vocal breed. They frequently bark loudly and howl sometimes when stranger approaches. If you prefer quiet breed, then this dog is not the right choice and barking tendency is average to high. Watchdog ability. Pekingese are average watchdogs. Biting potential. The Pekingese has a low chance of biting somebody. Mouthiness. They have an average tendency to nip, chew, play bite or herd people. If your Pekingese is always licking her paws, it could be something lodged in the pads like gum, glass or a grass seed. Impulse to wander. They have an average wanderlust potential. Prey drive. Pekingese have a high tendency to chase and catch something. Cats and other small pet animal are in danger. It's a natural instinct and not an aggressive behavior. Better to keep this breed on leash. Tolerates being left alone. They are prone to panic, cry and bark when their owner left their home. If you left alone for an extended time, it will create a separation anxiety to Pekingese which leads to barking incessantly, break house training, and engage in other unwanted behaviors. Proper socialization and quality time with dog can mitigate this problem. Good with. Pekingese are average friendly towards strangers. Keep in mind that Pekingese are not kid-friendly dogs. This breed is not recommended for families with children. Pekingese are very cat-friendly dogs and average friendly towards other dogs. Generally, Pekingese are perfect companion for senior citizens and not the best dog breed for office environment. They are one of the friendliest dog breeds. Good for novice owner. Yes, they are good for first-time owner due to their easygoing personality. Not suitable for service, therapy, sniffer, and cart pulling or drafting purposes. This breed usually doesn't like to being on a boat. It's not considered as hypoallergenic breed. Exercise need. They need very minimal exercise, though they can enjoy agility. They are notoriously hard to train and very stubborn. Sleeping need. Pekingese like sleeping very much. They aren't most active dog breed. If you live an active life, this breed may be bad choice. Food and diet. One half to one cup of high quality dry food a day, divided into two meals. Weight gain. It has an average risk for obesity. Daily walk should be on schedule, and live an active life together. If you notice any weight gain, consult your vet immediately and reduce unnecessary food and snacks. Weather and climate. Pekingese adapts very well to cold conditions and never tolerate hot weather. Drooling tendency. It has very low drooling tendency. Drooling is an unintentional saliva flowing outside of the mouth. Health. They are commonly healthy dogs and vet costs aren't expensive with this breed. According to UK Kennel Club survey, the Pekingese has an average lifespan of 11.4 years. The average lifespan of the dog is 12 to 15 years. The following are general health problems. A heart murmur is a potential sign of a problem. Patellar luxation, a condition in which the kneecaps pop out of position. Brachycephalic airway syndrome, which causes breathing difficulty. Evaluate each key point to determine if this breed might be the best option for your home. If you are looking for a devoted, lovable friend who will treat you with respect and dignity and expect the same treatment from you, then the Pekingese may be a breed to consider. Have you had any experience with Pekingese? Tell me in the comment section. Thanks for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.